Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to set up Ubuntu WSL to auto start at login. So this actually solves two problems that I have. One is that I hate having to start Ubuntu uh, in my terminal in order to get it running. That way I have my Docker containers started. And two is that if I happen to close all of my terminal windows, then Ubuntu will shut down and so will my Docker containers. And I want those up to be those to be up all the time. So what we're going to do is first, I always just set my Ubuntu instance as the default. That way I can just run the WSL commands. So I recommend setting your Ubuntu instance as the default distro. And then we're going to jump over into the Windows instance here and get started. So if we open up Terminal, we can basically check to see if WSL is running or you know what distros are running. So if we do WSL-L-V, we can see we have Ubuntu 24.04, but it's stopped. We're going to copy this, or I'll just execute it actually, wsl dash dash exec dbus dbus launch true and this is going to launch a dbus session in the background for my default distro and what's cool about this is it will keep ubuntu running in the background so if we give it a second here we can now run wsl dash l dash v and we can see ubuntu is running and i don't have any terminals up if i close out of everything, it's still gonna be running in the background, which is amazing. I can open up my uh, window here and I can go to Portainer and log into my Portainer instance, and it's going to stay up and all my Docker containers that I add to here will continue to run. But the first problem still remains, I want this to happen automatically. And we can do that by using the task scheduler to execute that command at login. So I'm going to go into the search type in task scheduler, and then select the task scheduler. And we're going to create a new task. We're going to call this uh, Ubuntu WSL start. And we want to run with highest privileges, and then go to triggers, new trigger. We want this to go at login. So every time we log in, we should keep this enabled, so make sure enabled selected. It should be by default. Actions. Click New, and this is where we're going to set up. We want WSL.exe, and there's going to be some, the rest of it is basically that dash dash exec. You can copy it from the wiki, which will be linked in the description of the video, and then we can just say OK. So now at login, this command is going to run, and that's going to make sure Ubuntu is running in the background. Conditions, I always just unselect everything. Settings, I always add run task as soon as possible after a scheduled start is missed. Then I'll click OK. And uh, let's see. So we can explicitly shut down WSL if we still need to. So if we go into terminal and I do WSL L V, we can see that it's still running, but you can do WSL shutdown and that's gonna shut down the WSL instance, just like as if it were to automatically get shut down. And this lets us test the rule here. So we can go in, and if you click over here on the left-hand side, Task Scheduler Library, all the way at the bottom, we're gonna see the Ubuntu WSL rule. Right-click and do Run. This screen's gonna pop up for a little bit because if you saw before when you start WSL, there is a little bit of a delay. Once that window goes away, we can then test WSL-L-V, and we can see that it's running. So every time you log in, that rule is going to run. Okay, so that'll keep everything hopefully working well. Unfortunately, there's no like built-in way to enable this, uh, so this is kind of a workaround that I've been using. If this was helpful, please feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.